Hello and welcome back to my second version of What If Doctor Who Wasn't Cancelled. In this series, I take a look at one question. What if Doctor Who hadn't been cancelled in 1989? Today, we're looking at season 46, 2009. Season 46 would have aired in 2009 and it would have been the last season for David Morrissey, Douglas Scott and Catherine Tate as the 12th Doctor, Devin and Donna respectively. The season would also be notable for having a third script editor on board, Robert Sherman. This season would have a low episode count of only five episodes. and But it would have worked very well. The crew would have to film for the third Doctor Who film, along with the cast. So without further ado, let's get on to season 46, 2009. Our first story is The Harbour of Darkness, written by Joseph Lidster. The TARDIS arrives in Norfolk, at a harbour to be precise, and the Doctor, Devin and Donna are caught up in a murderous conspiracy. 14 people have been killed over the course of one week at, and at the same harbour. But can the Doctor really trust everyone who he meets? Our next story is The Beast Below, written by Stephen Moffat. The Doctor, Devin and Donna land in, um, into the distant future and they discover Britain is in space. Starship UK houses the future of the British people as they search the stars for a new home. But when Donna explores, she encounters the terrifying Smilers and learns of a deadly truth inside the voting booth. Our next story is Oxygen, written by Jamie Matheson. Space, the final frontier. Final, because it wants to kill us. Trapped on a space station with no oxygen, the Doctor, Devin and Donna are horrified to discover the automated space food keeping them alive are also trying to kill them. Our next story is Midnight, written by Russell T Davies. While visiting the planet Midnight, a beautiful and luxury planet full of lavishes and high-tech cities, a terrifying problem arises that leaves the Doctor powerless. And can Donna and Devin help him even though they're in the luxury hotel? And how? Our finale of the season is End of the World as We Know It, written by Robert Sherman. It was just a normal day. Normal. Well... That's what people thought. But then a strange alien invasion happened. But where was the Doctor? No, wait. Where was Devin? No, wait. Where was Donna? Wait. Where are they? And how has this problem occurred? This story follows the life of Sarah Jane Smith as London is hit hard by an alien invasion one day and they find out that it was the Daleks. However, an accidental alien rocket wipes the city out killing nearly everyone but and it's not be- long before the daleks are replaced by the silurians the silurians take people to their underground cities and start killing them or they just take them to the labor camps sarah jane meets an old friend of the doctors joe grant and it's not long before they team up to try and stop the silurians they stop a few but they don't get very far the tardif lands right in front of Sarah Jane and Joe Grant and the next thing you know is that the Doctor explaining how he accidentally locked himself in a time lock he has to go back in time and reverse everything and it fought a bit too much for Donna and Devin and they both leave leaving the Doctor alone so there we have it the end of the season and what a season it was thanks to the finale the next video I'll be covering is the third film in the Doctor Who movie franchise. And I might want to tell you, all future videos are going to be premieres. So watch out for the movie. Goodbye.